guys at all gang welcome back to the channel for those of you who are new i'm jasmine as you can tell by the title of this video and requested by one of my subscribers i'm going to be giving you guys my everyday makeup routine yes this is an updated everyday makeup routine so all products that i'm going to use will be listed in the description box below before we go any further, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Yes, honey. If you're not already subscribed, I don't know. Really, I just really don't know at this point what you're, what, what you're waiting on. Like, subscribe. Go ahead and like this video so that you don't forget later on in this video. I won't be doing too much chit chat. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Okay, doll. So, I'm actually going to be starting off with my LA Pro concealer in the shade warm honey um, most people use eye shadow primer you can always use concealer as i do um, i always prime my lids with a concealer to prepare my lids um, for the eyeshadow that i'll be using um, if you're new to makeup or if you're a beginner um, most people when they're using eyeshadow they have trouble with it sticking so always prime your eyelids with concealer or eyeshadow primer this will help your eyeshadow stick to your eyelid and it also make it more pigmented so i definitely recommend putting concealer on the eyelid so right here i'm just pressing the concealer into my skin using my beauty blender and then I'm going to go in with this Morphe palette. I can't think of the name of it right now, but it will be down in the description box below. I always take like a lighter shade and put it right up under my brow bone just to highlight that brow bone. I've kind of gotten out of putting like a shimmer there, but it is still very pretty. I would recommend that, especially for the summer. Um... So yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just sitting under my brow area with that lighter pigment. And this is an everyday look. I didn't want to do anything too much, too harsh, too difficult. So for my beginner dolls, this should be fairly easy for you guys. So next I'm going to go in with like a lighter shade of brown. And just put it right in my crease. I am gonna pat it on first and then kind of like blend it out it's probably kind of hard to see on camera but as I continue to pat that color on you will eventually begin to see it but I like I said I didn't want to do anything too hard or too extra so just choose actually I only use two colors out this whole palette to create this eyeshadow look so this should be fairly easy but yes just pat the color on and then blend it out in circular motions to um, blend out the corners so it can have a gradient effect going into that brow bone. And you always want to take your time when you're doing your eyeshadow. It's no rush. Take your time. Make sure it's blended well. And on my lid, I'm using that same color I used on my brow bone just to lighten up my lid and kind of open it up a little bit. And I'm just tapping and patting this color on. So that's another thing when you're doing your eyeshadow. Always, if you're using like a creamy concealer as your base, you want to make sure that you pat the color on first and then blend it out because you don't want that creamy concealer to move and mess anything up so that's what i'm doing next i'm gonna go in with my duo eyelash glue you guys this is the easiest way to put on eyelashes take your glue and apply it like you're doing a liquid eyeliner let it dry down just a little bit and when I tell you this, the eyelash is going to stick like right away. It's like the easiest way to put on eyelashes. So you apply your glue like eyeliner at the top. You want to make sure that you, when you're looking in your mirror, you're looking down. And then you just want to set that eyelash on top of where you place that glue with a tweezer. 
some people use their nails some people use their hands the easiest way for me is to use tweezers so you gotta get you a good pair of tweezers not the flimsy ones they gotta be sturdy so that nothing moves and everything stays in place so once you get your eyelash on, you want to make sure that you like how it's placed on your eyelid. Make sure you press it together so that it looks, you know, nice and natural. <laughs> Period. Like this. <laughs> so now I'm actually going to go ahead and start putting on my foundation. The foundation that I'm going to use today is Rich Caramel. Right here, I actually forgot that I did not put on a primer. Like, what was I thinking? No primer. But it's okay because we are using the Estee Lauder double wear foundation in the shade rich caramel you guys i absolutely love this foundation for my oily girls this is definitely a foundation that you want to try because it helps absorb oil and it's a matte finish so it's not going to give you that super shiny finish and it's perfect for the summer so definitely try the estee lauder double wear it's bomb so I'm just going to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend this all out. You're just going to pat, 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 pat this into your skin until it melts like butter, honey. And FYI, always, always, always dampen your beauty blender. Not wet, but dampen. So um, if you ever wet your beauty blender and you feel like you got it too wet, just place it inside of a paper towel and squeeze it to get that excess um, water out your sponge. But... I'm just spreading this foundation all over my face and I'm just tapping it into my skin with this beauty blender. And this beauty blender is by, um, uh, shoot, my mind went blank, <laughs> but I'll leave it down in the description box. So I'm actually going back in with that same concealer. This is the pro concealer in the shade warm honey. And I actually just like grabbed this to film this video, but I've recently been using the Juvia's concealer. Y'all, when I tell you, I love Juvia's Place concealers. Like, they're so bomb. But this is an oldie but a goodie. So, let's talk about it. Let's get into it. It's definitely still um, a pretty medium to coverage concealer. It's pretty thick. I like that about it. It's not all thin and see-through. Um, and they have a wide range of shades. So if you've never tried the LA Pro Concealer, you should definitely try it. It's awesome for you beginner dolls. It's affordable. And it gives you the look that you need, honey. <laughs> but yes, I'm just going to, I put this under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, the top of my lip, my chin, and my forehead. These are the areas that you want to focus on for your highlighting. So, um, if you're not really that comfortable with highlighting and contouring like your nose, you can skip the nose part and just do under your eyes for now. But if you want to jump out there and give it a shot, I would highly recommend you just go ahead and highlight your nose, sis. That's the only way you're going to get better is if you try. So, as you can see, I don't know what the heck went on with my chin, but it's like a missing piece of makeup patch i hate when that happens i don't know why that happens but when it happens it's like feel like it's the end of the world so i put concealer back on top of it bad idea yeah you can still see it <laughs> it's like a a missing circle you see it okay yeah uh -uh. So what I eventually ended up doing was wiping it off, taking the makeup wipe, wiping it off, putting primer on my chin, and then going back in with some more foundation. And I kind of feel like that probably happened because, like I said, I did forget to put on a primer. So definitely wear a primer, guys. Priming your face is super, super, super important um, when wearing makeup. And the primer that I usually use is the Milk um hydrating primer it's really really good it's really really thick and it's kind of like tacky so it helps your makeup like really stick to that primer it's like the bum but if you're oily i probably wouldn't suggest using it because it is it's like very hydrating so i'm just going to take my beauty blender and blend out this concealer so you basically just want to tap this out until 
it's like blended into your skin like butter like flawlessly um and you can take like the opposite side of the beauty blender and blend your edges out so there's no harsh lines as well And guys, the same thing happened on my forehead. It was like a missing patch of makeup. So freaking annoying. But I did fix it. Like I said, I just took a makeup wipe and wiped it off. Put primer on and just reapplied the foundation. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking in the mirror like, girl. It's the patch for me, honey. Girl, go ahead and take that off your chin and stop playing around. <laughs> okay, so I fixed it, you guys. So now I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Banana Setting Powder. You guys, this powder is so good. Like, it's like the bomb. Now, I'm still definitely stuck on my Sasha Buttercup, but I do also love this Fenty Setting Powder. Um, It smells so good. It is a little bit more on the pricier side, but... Um, if you're like really into makeup, I would buy it. But if you're like beginner, you don't have to buy expensive products. You know, you can start out with, um, cheaper products starting out because you're learning. You're going to use a lot of it and it's a lot of it's going to be for practice. So you don't have to, but once you like get it down pat, you definitely go buy this. Okay. Cause it's the bomb. But yeah, everywhere that I put concealer, I'm just going to place this setting powder on top of it just to set those areas because anytime you use anything creamy you want to make sure that you set it so it doesn't crease it doesn't look shiny and it stays in place so that's why i'm putting this powder under my eyes and everywhere else that i put concealer it's a very 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 important step and also you want to start out with as less powder as possible because you don't want to end up with a cakey looking face so use a little bit of powder and you can build it up as you go i don't really put a lot 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 on my forehead but just enough to set it and then I'm just going to use the tail end of my Beauty Blender and kind of carve out um, under where I'm going to put my contour. And then I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Bronzer in the shade Coconut Now this shade is a little bit darker. Um, and so I'm just going to use it at the bottom of where I would carve out my face. And then you'll see later in the video where I go in with my Black Radiance Contouring Palette in the Sculpting Shade on top of this just to kind of blend it out so it doesn't look so harsh. But these Fenty bronzers are really good, y'all. Like, they're really, really good. They show up really nice on the skin, and they're just pretty, soft and pretty. But Rihanna's whole line is kind of like that. It just has that natural skin look, and everything is just so soft to me. So, yeah, I'm just blending out that contour. So, this is where I go in with the Black Radiance palette. So, I'm going to go in with the Sculpting Shade, which is the one in the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose. I use this lighter shade for my nose because I didn't want any to use anything too harsh on my nose. And then it looks like I got two stripes going down my nose and it's hard to blend it out. So, always use like a lighter contouring shade for your nose because it's easier to blend out and it looks less harsh and it looks more natural so that's what I use and I'm just taking this brush and I'm just blending that out now I'm just gonna dust away the setting powder that I put on my face I'm gonna dust it off my nose and then I'm gonna do it under my eyes and under where I contoured my face
Okay, so now I'm adding the um, sculpting part. So I'm just going right on top of where I put that Fenty bronzer. I'm putting this sculpting shade from the Black Radiance Contouring Palette. Just to give my face a little bit more structure. So the palette says sculpting and it, that's exactly what it does. It helps shape your face. And then I'm just going to blend everything together. Anywhere that you see lines, you want to make sure that you put that brush right on top of it. Do circular motions and just blend, honey. Blend, 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 blend. So I have gotten out of wearing eyeliner, guys. So now I just use an eyeshadow under my eye. But today I'm going to use the sculpting shade out of the Black Radiance Contouring Palette. And I'm just going to dust that right up under my eyes. And in the corners of my eye, I'm going to add the contouring shade out of this um, Black Radiance Palette. Just to give it a little bit more um, color and definition under the eye area. I don't know. I just like this method better because it's just so soft. So now I'm actually going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me um, finishing powder. And I'm just placing a little bit of that under my eye area. When you use setting powder, sometimes it can be a little bit lighter than you wish. Um, and you can always correct that by putting your face powder right on top of it. And it just makes it look more natural and it tones it down a little bit. So if you make a mistake under the eye area and you feel like, oh my God, I look like a ghost. It's okay, sis. Just put a little bit of face powder up under your eye. And I'm going to use the highlighter right out of this same Black Radiance palette. And I'm just going to put that right on the balls of my cheeks. I usually like to do a little smile. Um, and apply this highlighter right on the balls of my cheeks. Because, sis, if you ain't glowing, what is you doing? <laughs> and I always add a little bit on my nose, a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my cupid's bow, on my lip, honey, and a little bit on my chin. Because, baby, if you ain't glowing, what is you doing? Yeah, so... Just adding a little bit of mascara now. And I did put a little bit of that highlighter in the corners of my eyes. I just feel like it gives you that extra pop, which is so beautiful, especially in the summertime, y'all. Like, highlighter in the corners of your eyes, it just does something. It just takes your makeup to the next level. But now I'm going to use this 99 cent um, brown liner by Wet n Wild in the color Simma Brown to line my lips. You definitely want to make sure you take your time when you're lining your lips because you don't want to, of course, you don't want to mess up. And you want to make sure that line is straight and as precise as you can get it, honey. So I'm just taking my time and outlining my lips. And this, this this pencil is very affordable. Like I said, it's 99 cents. I got it from the Dollar General. And I think it came with a pencil sharpener. So you can also sharpen this. And look how long it is. So you know this pencil is going to last a while. So what I like to do to blend out that line is just kind of mash my lips together. And use my pinky to blend out any harsh lines on the lip. Now, it's up to you. You can totally leave that line like how it was but I just like to blend it out just a little so now I'm going to use my Fenty um, matte lipstick in the shade pumpkin rose I believe this is what it's called just a little bit and I always you know you know smack your lips together to blend out that color and then I'm going to go in with my Juvia concealer right in the middle just dead in the center and just smack them together and blend out that color because I wanted to do like a brown bronzy orangey ombre lip and so i like how it turned out but i wanted to warm up the corners just a little bit so i actually took some of this bronzer um some of the fancy bronzer and just tapped it on the outside just to tone it down just a tad Cute, 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 cute. I love it. I love it. 
So you already know, honey. You already know what I'm about to use. I'm going in with my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, you guys. You already know this is the one. It's just the one. I love this setting spray so much. And it smells so good. And it makes you feel fancy. And then uh, I always use my Beauty Blender to tap in that setting spray just to make sure everything is in there. It's baking real good. You know. <laughs> you already know. And yeah. I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you don't have any questions, if I may have forgotten a product that I used, definitely ask me. Leave me suggestions for my next video. And until next time, bye.